Jordan, great to see you back in action. I think you've been since last summer when you beat Scott Williams yep. at the... How was it Hamilton football? Oh, no. Uh, local, local bout. Local bout. It was, uh, it was a good experience. It was a good experience. But obviously, with me being from Hamilton, it was a... Uh, it was a big opportunity and a lot of the people were there to watch me so it was it was good to have that experience like everybody on your side and kind of the, deal with that nerve that nervous energy everybody there to see you but listen it's uh, I dealt with it I made, I made a tougher night than I should have all but, but I, I still won I still got the win You're one of the boxers who managed to keep active during lockdown and high profile fights the Tommy Fury experience what was that like for you Obviously everyone saw the fight, pushed really, really close. What was the experience like around the big fight, the interviews and the... Another, another thing, Steve, it was good to, it was good to be involved in that, like, teach you how to handle that kind of pressure, being in that environment. It kind of made me want it more, getting that taster of that and what's expected of you. And, you know, it was, a, it was a good experience, it was something that I think at my age, at 24, to have that early on, it's, it's good exposure. So now I can take that into future fights, and future opportunities, and maybe I'll know be so much a rabbit in the headlights because I've experienced that early on. So I think it's, it's done good for me. It's done, done good. Yeah, it's just seen the fire that happens. What have you been doing boxing-wise? Boxing? We've been, been working on a lot of things. We're working on uh, calming down in there. Stick, sticking to boxing, sometimes I get a bit excited. So, uh, like I said, the last fight with Scott Williams uh, wasn't my best performance. I still got the win, but I hurt him early on and I thought I'm going to chase this down with the crowd and the experience. But obviously, I, I got myself caught as well and maybe caught up in the moment. So, building on that performance, we're, we're, we're moving forward, we're sticking to boxing. Well, uh, training's going good, sparring's going good. I'm in with Davey, uh, Jerry, Dam Johnson, the Connor. There's a uh, good sparring. So, uh, it's good boys, and uh, it's, uh, it's going really well. It's going really it's well. A sobering experience at Trump Turnbury, won't you? Oh, aye. Oh, we, no. What? We're from Hamilton Football Ground. It's talk and cheese. Nah, no, I know, I know. What? It, it'll be a good experience. I mean, it's another great venue. I mean, to to add to my career. So, no, I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to putting on a show as well. And excited about fighting on well, boxing on fight zone? Yep, definitely. Definitely. That's Saturday it's a big platform and obviously I want to I want to impress them as well. So we can see where see where they can take my career as well. Hopefully they want to jump on board if I can put the performance in. Well you put you, you well, part, yeah, even the Tommy Fury fight you were putting the performance no, in. No, so. no, no, it was, it was a very close fight. I mean arguably a draw, but it's uh, it's one of those things where you're, you're the away fighter being you in the air down there. But listen, credit to Tommy Fury, he's, he's a good boxer as well. Doesn't he get the credit he deserves either? I mean, I'm sure you'd love that fight again, but I think he, he's hoping for his Jake Paul match still, isn't he? Well, I know, listen, I, I would never turn down that fight again. I mean, uh, if I had the right time to prepare for, listen, any fight of that magnitude against a good levelled opponent, maybe with Hearn or Warren, anybody like that. See if Jordan Grant gets a, the right camp, then I'm a problem for them. I like some of the Fury fight. I only had a week to prepare. People forget that. I mean, that that's me fighting with a week's notice. Also, you also work hard. I know I see you on your Instagram. And if, you're not, if you're not running around <laughs> with your daughter, you're, you're Thailand. Thailand, non-stop, non-stop. I'm becoming a millionaire one tile a day. <laughs> <laughs> one tile a day, becoming a millionaire. No, I, I, I'm, I'm really busy. I'm really busy putting the work in. If it's no training in the morning, then going to work, it's training at night. So, but listen, this is the life we live. This is the life we live. That pays the bills just now. Hopefully, boxing will take me away from Thailand and maybe I can live a wee bit more of a luxurious life. And if, you, but listen, first I've got to get the big fights, and uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. Hopefully, that comes in my career. Thanks very much, Steve. Thank you.